my wife calls me hobby boy. And I've got all kinds of projects. I did some welding last weekend. I've got some welding to do this weekend. I'm building the mother of all desks from my office. It's been a bit of a disaster, but hopefully it'll, it'll turn out okay. And I'm always into something and the garage is a mess and everything's a mess. And uh, anyway, she calls me hobby boy because I'm always into everything. And of course I looked into mining crypto and it looks like in order to do it, uh, provided you have the space and can cool the space and you have good electricity, I mean, there's a lot of ifs, right? That's the point I was getting to. Provided that you have a decent electricity rate, it looks like you have to be at least below 10%. It seems like electricity just keeps going up. You could actually mine crypto, but it looks like you'd have to put about $10,000 into a rig. And what if something happened to that rig? And, and it would probably pay for itself over a year's time, but a lot of stuff can happen between now. And then I was doing my trading simplified show for stock charts yesterday. And I looked at one of the crypto trades I saw and I realized I hit the profit target in three minutes. So that kind of exemplifies the point I'm trying to make. It's like, well, you can kind of get into this mining thing. And I think it'd be a lot of fun and I'm kind of nerdy and, and uh, I, I keep resisting the temptation to get into it. But I think that as traders, especially as traders, who understand money management. And let me just backtrack a little bit. One reason that I'm excited about crypto is the trend following moron stuff works really, really well. The taking partial profit stuff works really well. And the trailing the stop higher works really, really well because it's an inefficient market and it's an emotional market. And, and as I'll beat to that horse on in a few minutes, being emotional, and rational, it makes for a great market to trade. And this morning I woke up thinking, I'm going to talk a lot about trading traders, not markets. And then, you know, the market's gotten away and everything else got in the way today. But the bottom line is when you think about the crypto or anything for that matter, you're trading traders, not markets. And for instance, with the IPOs, the reason we're buying that new closing high is because at a new closing high, everyone who bought the IPO prior to you is profitable. And anyone who didn't buy it, feels like they're missing the boat. So we're, we're counting on those greater fools to come in. And I really think there's going to be a, an S ton of greater fools coming into crypto because there's a lot of people that, that don't even know what it is. And I was going to say, a lot of people don't understand it. It's like, I don't understand it, right? You don't have to understand it. So one thing I thought of, in addition to the free rolling, which I want to talk a little bit about tonight, but if you look at some of these miners and you know some of them make like twenty dollars a day and everybody's all excited about that and oh man this miner makes twenty dollars a day and blah 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 it's like well what if i i did the free rolling and hopefully make a lot more money than 20 bucks on a trade but i also every time i hit the initial profit target just take fifty dollars off and pull it aside well dave you're becoming buying hope well I guess to some extent I am, but it's only 50 bucks on the trade. So if I put $1,000 up to do the trade, okay, and or buy $1,000 worth one of these chick coins, right? And I'm looking for right now, for the most part, now in some of them, I'm, I'm starting to adjust for volatility, but like I've been saying lately, just because it's not enough time, not enough time in a day, I just get my calculator out and multiply whatever price I buy it at times 1.2, and that's my initial profit target. And then I just kind of eyeball the stop. And on a lot of these breakouts, I'm putting my stop in really tight on that second loaf, and then obviously bringing it up to break even. I'm gonna walk you through two or three of them in just a minute. But again, part of the mining in addition to the trading and hopefully hitting a few home runs, which knock a wood, I have, I can do this peel off thing where I'm peeling off 50 bucks here and there. Now, initially when I started doing this, I wasn't really, I, I didn't really think it would turn into real money, but it's like doing it for a couple of weeks, the the peeling off the 50 bucks every time it hits a, an IPT is now up to like $2,000 in this, by peeling off these these shares, by mining them, so to speak. Now, again, the other thing I want to point out is, you know, you're probably not too impressed because I'm talking about small accounts and small account size. Well, my goal is to kind of have fun with this and to see see what I can parlay it into. 
And again, I started with, and I got to do all the math, but I've like started with 2K. I took some out, okay? And then I put 1500 back in. So I need to see how that all, how the math all works out. But believe me, it's worth a hell of a lot more now than, than what I started with. But, you know, check back often. But you can see here, and notice the ones down here are right around 50 bucks. And some of those I, I mined, so to speak, today. That's why they're 50. And I think the SHV came off today. Some of them are less than 50 because they went down in price, okay? But my thinking is if I could kind of close my eyes with this, and it's only 50 bucks, right? In these little pairs, a lot of the, the miners out there, the way they make their real money is after I learned a little bit about it, about it watching some YouTubes, is the ones that don't need to survive off their mining income, they they just sort of let the coins they mine collect and their thinking is one or two or several of them will hit and this one up here and i don't know exactly how many 50s i put in it i think just i think there was only a hundred dollars that went in it now keep in mind that's profit and i mean i should have walked you through the trade first but i'll walk you through a trade in a second but i know in that one i got stopped out of the second half after a free rolling for a while and i went back in hit the initial profit target and went back in and then back into security or whatever you want to call these things, the shit going, and I'm trailing a stop higher. So I think I have at least $100 in this one, but as you can see, it's worth a hell of a lot more than $100. Now, some of these will go to zero, but my thinking is, let me see how much I can mine. It's kind of a game, okay? And I know I'm doing a little buy and hope, and, and believe me, I'm, I'm afraid the trader in me wants this or if this, gets to some substantial some substantial amount then i might be inclined to apply a little market timing to it but right now it's just kind of a little fun game to see if i could mine without hooking up some noisy machines and and have my electricity bill skyrocket and then having having them go down and then there's a risk of fire and all kinds of other things so here's the kda so you can see it's pretty much going straight up i did get knocked out of it and probably just because it was it was beginning to implode a little bit, I went ahead and just got out of it. And then I got back in, probably bought two or three other ones in the process while it was was this uh I hate to say it, this orange, this red candle <laughs> on the way down. So a lot of this is probably appreciation. I'm pretty sure that I did have two trades that went into this one. It's kind of hard to track when they don't show you when you're when you're taken uh in and out or at least i haven't figured it out just yet so anyway that's sort of my version of mining so to speak and i got to thinking about it if you could mine four of these things a day at 50 bucks each as you'll see in one minute you'll do really well and i almost put when i was putting my slide together this morning i almost put day ain't over yet and then i said you know what well i heard a little ding in the background and I hit another one. So that's 250. Now, not every day is this good, but I came in today saying, you know, if I just mine one or two today, so to speak, I'll be happy. And keep in mind, now some of these have stopped out, but keep in mind that I still have the chance of a home run on the remainder of the position. And I'll show you my free rolling list in just one second. But I'm a big fan of the fuzzy math, annualizing things. So if I can pull 250 a day mining, and this is just pulling off that 50 bucks, right? Not, not going for the home run, but letting that remainder of the position, hopefully, I know you said hope, but hopefully turn into a home run, pulling off 50 bucks, sticking it in this separate account. That's 91,250 a year. Yeah, some of these will go to zero, but some of them might quadruple or go up 10,000% or whatever, we'll see. We'll see. This is going to be a fun live experiment. I'll, I'll share as much as possible with you. The other thing, and I just started experimenting with this, is you can stake coins. My thinking is the coins that I can stake, and in some cases you can lend them out too. And I'm not sure how that's going to work just yet. But it, but at 50, if you only have 50 dollars of a coin, you might not be able to stake it. You might need to have it build up a little bit. Like I need to look at that KDA or whatever and see if that could be lent out or staked, so to speak. 
And basically what you're doing in, in that case is you're able to get a return on your investment while it's just sitting there. Now, you don't want to be like the guy who, and I had a neighbor, used to drive me nuts. I know, short trip, save the joke. But he's like, oh, I'm in this stock. It's got a 30% dividend. It's like, well, you know, it's going to go down to zero. There's a reason it has a 30% dividend but i'm experimenting with this and, and i just want to see what's going to happen and so far it's been an absolute blast now i'm not trading for excitement believe me i'm following rules and i'm doing the prettier girl swapping or hot potato swapping or whatever you want to call it where i'm getting in the best looking pair and then i'm flipping it out when it starts to fail to perform or if something looks even better there's a lot of dangers in that, of course. My my wrists are freaking killing me. I had, had uh, cortisone shots a couple of weeks ago. They did absolutely nothing, and the 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 shit coins are adding to killing my wrists. So I'm hoping to make my million so I could uh, have somebody else do my typing or whatever or trading or or just walk away when the bubble ends, right? Anyway, let's take a look at the free rolling and mining. So RNDR, this was one of them, and when you're playing a relative strength game, again, I'm just sorting by relative strength and buying the strongest ones, the ones that are going up. And I'm looking to flip them out at 20% for 20% profit. And you can see my stop was down here, my initial stop, and that's a little wide. Usually I'm a little tired of that because if they're going, they should just go. And then I flipped out half right here. And then the stop goes up to break even. So now I'm free rolling on this one and i'll show you my whole list of free rolling in just one second now this is one i think i may have i might have stopped out of this one already yeah i stopped out of this one ideally by the way this this rs trading is is fun okay and, and i probably bought this one if i went back and looked at my records on this bar here because it was going straight up but ideally i like to see like a pullback something that looks more like the core methodology down to the 30 EMA, or in this case, it didn't quite make it there, and then look for a rally out. I still want to do the core methodology stuff, but while the market is hot, I'm trading just a, just a relative strength, or mostly relative strength, and I'll show you that in one second. So those were the actual trades, and you can see the timestamps on them. I bought it here. My stop was right here. I flipped it out. How, how long did that take? See, this one took... This one took three hours, but you know what? Three hours. <laughs> I mean, if, even if it takes three days, who cares if you get the IPT, right? And so stops at break even, but then I stopped out of the remainder. So I only made about a hundred bucks on the entire trade, and I put 50 bucks into my mind account, so to speak, staked it or whatever the case may be. I don't know if this is a, a proof of stake or proof of work coin. But fifty dollars came up. Now you could argue, Dave, you put half your profits. You know, it's like, well, it was only hundred bucks. But if I could get at least at fifty to stake it, and then hopefully have that second half turn into something real. And I had, and, and again, I, I I need to look at all the trades to see what it was. But like that crazy sheep run a while back, that I think it had like a thousand dollars in, it, and it went to like three or four thousand overnight. And that was a lot of fun, and that's where the real money is, believe me. So I think this was the one that that hit the IPT. No, 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 this isn't the one. But anyway, this one hit the IPT earlier today. Stop was here. Just bought, bought it because it's going up, right? Flipped it out 20% higher, and then trailed that stop higher. This was the one. Yeah, this one hits right before I went live with the show. Stop was here. I just bought it because it was going up, right? Flipped out half, and then now the stop is at break even. And we're free rolling on that one. So here's my free rolling list as of today. Cyan means I'm free rolling, okay? Purple means it's a new position. I have an IPT in place, 20% higher for now on most of them. And then the ones down here, if they're in pink, they're in other accounts. I have most of my coins in one account right now, which is a little scary, by the way. Pink means I need to take some action, raise a stop, or do something to it. Or it's an, it might be, in some cases, it might be a brand new position. 